Hello everybody, my name is Ansman, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiser Rikers Canada, let us continue on from where we last left off. So, low manpower, that's fine. Uh, yeah, this, I mean, the war is going fine, I, I think, at least. Uh, I did lose an episode, I mean, I'm actually re-recording an episode because apparently I just didn't have my recording software on, so that's kind of stupid of me. So I've kind of played, like, the next two months already, but I'm sure it's fine. Uh, we have some guys over here training up in Nova Scotia. I wanted- what I wanted to do is my marines that should be part of this Irish garrison, we need to start getting them prepared for an actual invasion of England. Uh, we're gonna basically put these guys on a brand new army. We will make them yellow, because we don't actually have a yellow army yet. And then we should have a commander still available. Yeah, we have, a uh, George Veneer. Just have him in charge. We'll basically make a naval plan from Dublin. And probably go... I think Cardiff is probably still the best area to go. But we're just going to send 10 divisions straight there, so... Yeah, they'll do that. Because, uh, it's it's a city, but it's mostly just surrounded by planes. There's not a lot of mountains. It's not like when we attack near Glasgow, and then everything surrounding that is just mountains. And you can't really advance too far in the mountains, unsurprisingly enough. Down here in Flanders, it seems like it's still going pretty much okay. I kind of wish there was just less sprites everywhere, but... Not much we can actually do about that. But we should, I think we're on the river here. I know there's a river somewhere around here, but I, th I think we're currently on it. Like, do they have a river crossing penalty? Yeah, negative 20%. Is that just because we're fighting in force? Not too sure. But we have, a, we have a decent amount of troops. We have 26 guys deployed here right now. There's actually nobody in this province, so we might as well go and take it, right? Like, if there's nobody there, we might as well have it. Unless they kind of just reinforce position. If they are, then we'll just kind of ignore that. And I kind of completely forgot about the, uh... The logs here. We can actually see, like, how well that, uh... Attack until their France won. If you actually look at, like, some of these numbers... Combat log. No, that's, that's attacking. But look at this. Like, zero men here. They lost 800. 6,000 to 500. Uh, let's see, there's gotta be some worse ones. 10,000 to 2,000. Yeah, you know, like, the French lost a lot of men. And that's good for us. I kind of wish you would just stop trying to reinforce this position. But, I mean, they have really low organization, so maybe we can just kind of push through anyway. Unless they reinforce. But as long as we're killing more people than we're losing, I think it's fine. Like, that battle... We actually lost. We lost 600 men to their 243. Really? That that's surprising. I thought I thought we would have killed more men there. So they're trying to attack and get into uh, what the hell? What's that say? Dunkaroo. They're trying to go take Dunkaroo, I guess. Uh, no, I want the this one on. We have a decent amount of men, like kind of stationed here, but I don't know really where they should go. Like we're completely surrounded by the French. They got fortifications down here, which we can't really push through. So if we're going to push through, we got to push through, like, the north, get into, like, Calais. But I don't see that happening too well. So we got a victory here. Uh, we sink a battleship. Fantastic. Just get rid of all this stuff. That's probably just about planes and stuff. Because I don't, I don't rebuild the planes. We just don't have enough factories to actually rebuild the planes, which sucks. Yeah, they're, they're losing convoys. I mean, that's good. I kind of wish we could just make more... Like, why do we even have two different slots here? Just... Cancel this production line. Like, I don't know really why we had it in the first place. We need a lot of artillery. We need a lot of, uh, rifles and stuff. And actually, what we should be doing is that, like, the United States... You know, you got a lot of factories. You're not in the war. You should just give me some supplies. Request land lease. Can you give me rifles? They would not accept. Why? Base reluctance, but they like us. So actually, if we improve relations with the United States, they might just start making us rifles, which would be nice. Uh, who who actually likes us? That's a good question. Uh, logist- no, not logistics. They gotta, like, right-click open country list. And then sort by their opinion of us. So Ireland, I mean, these people already were, were at war with. And they're in our faction, so it doesn't really count. Austria's at plus 40. I mean, they're currently in a war. They would not accept. I mean, they're close, though, so let's improve relation with them. Uh, who else was close? 
Cuba. So 40 is like the limit. If they're at 40, they're not going to say yes. But Panama has 42 opinion of us. So that might push them over to be a positive one. They would accept. So basically, we have to get them over 30 opinion and then they'll uh, give us weapons, which is nice. They have no tanks. Okay, well, we might as well just start getting uh, rifles from them. So give us 20% of their weapons that they make and they're going to give us 15 rifles. Thanks, Panama. You only have one military factory, so I'm assuming we're probably going to get, like, nothing from you. If I go to logistics, will it actually tell me... I mean, we're, it says we're making 43. 47. We're making 93 a day. Like, how's this only going up by plus 47? How's it going up by plus 21? I'm not, too, I'm not too sure, but... The English Channel. Yeah, that's, you know, stuff's happening. It's fine. We basically just need to basically control... Just hold this territory for now. How long is it going to take for you to actually be ready? You're 11 days out of 70, so it's going to take him a while. And now, like, the United States, you're at plus 39. Like, tactics get up, like, pretty fast. So now they will actually start giving us stuff. Yeah, they will just give us all, this th all these things. Fantastic. Austria. 10% of... I'm going to say 10% of their rifles and 10% of their artillery, I believe? I don't know if there's really a way for me to check, like, what these actually are. But I'm sure at some... we'll, we'll find out at some point. I don't, I don't know how. FT-17. Oh no, those are those are our old tanks. Okay. And then we have these guys stored. We're producing 15. Yeah, we need a lot of artillery. We just need a lot of things. We don't have enough stuff. Uh, United States, how about you give me... I need rifles. I don't really need tanks. I need tanks and artillery. Okay, so they're giving us 20% of their M1 Grands, Garens, 20% of their artillery, and then they're just going to give us 7 artillery for free. That's nice. I mean, I'm assuming we're getting more rifles now. It doesn't, doesn't really show up here. Do 1%. Coming to France is clear war in Italy. Hey, Italy, you want to join my faction? No, they still don't. Apparently, world tension's not even at... It's at 76%. Which is really low. I don't know why it's so low. Okay, but, you know... Well, we might as well improve relations with them for now. So, maybe one day they'll, they'll join our faction. Maybe. But I think these guys in Northern France, I think they've kind of... Not really that they served their purpose, because the French actually never really bothered to show up down here, which I thought they might have. But we're just basically going to move these guys... From Algeria and move them over here into Italy. Yeah, so you guys do that. I might, it might be a little bit slow because we have no convoys because we're trying to prepare a naval invasion, but you know, it's fine. How? Reserved convoys, 18. Okay, so you're, you're about a quarter of the way done that. So that's good. So, like, can we now see, like, Ross Rifle. Like, can we start seeing, like, the M1 Garen show up here? Is the Ross Rifle good? Is that what we're making? Or is the Ross Rifle bad? No, the Ross Rifle is terrible. Okay. So you guys mostly have that. 14, Austin K7s. Why do we have all our tanks over here? I mean, I assume you're... I 
I assume you're tanks. Yeah, light tanks and mostly motorized divisions. Like, why are you over here in, uh... Near Buffalo. That just seems like a waste of what you should be doing. You should be going over here... To Europe. Now there's... Where was the other orange guys? Oh, they're up there? Why are you up there? Not too sure. Not a grocery pack with Italy? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll start sending our troops up that way. Yeah, they have no way to get there. We just don't make enough convoys right now. Okay, we have another naval engagement going on. Like, these numbers aren't very fair to, uh, to the British. But that's fine. It doesn't matter too much. He's lost 37,000 men. I mean, we've killed way more than we've lost. Like, it's been such a one-sided war so far. But I don't want to take more casualties than we have to. I mean, we're, we're a small country. Unsurprisingly. I just don't want to... We, don't, we can't lose too many men. Yeah, so the French do own uh, the Isle of Man. So that's good. We got a battleship here that's kind of doing nothing. And how are those submarines that we're building? We have one. Okay, I was expecting a little bit more than that, but okay. Also, Italy. You're now our friend. Yeah, 102. You guys love us. You still won't join the uh, faction now. It's a negative 500. The, is it, is it like the government types? If they didn't have that, then they absolutely would join our faction. Okay, can I just get convoys? Uh, let's just request like these two things. So ten, 10 convoys. I mean, I guess that's good. And then 10% of their rifles. Like, we're not giving anybody rifles and equipment. Everyone's giving us stuff. But we're, we're not giving anybody anything. And that's fine. I mean, they should like us now. Improved relations, same ruling party. Oh, what's this? France attacked here. And then they just immediately abandoned it. Okay, okay, National France. I don't really know what your game plan there was, but okay. I mean, if you told me about that, maybe I could have landed troops there, but... I guess it's fine. No big deal. How about we just, like, split this in half for now and try to get a few more convoys so these guys over here can actually move? I mean, I'm assuming they're moving. Like, how many convoys do we have total? Uh, it doesn't actually say. Okay, we have 225 convoys. Supply and trade for transferring troops. Why do 217 out of 150? That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. It's okay, you guys just go back into this plan. Maybe we should just start stop building stuff? Importing... Why do you have such a huge surplus of steel? Yeah, like what was going on there? Uh, United States, import. Surplus eight. And we get, is it nine per? Oh no, okay, we're not actually importing anything here. We don't need to import oil. I believe. Yeah, weird, I don't know why we were doing more. Okay, free civilian factories. Okay, we can actually do stuff again. I mean, more military factories just make sense, but on the other hand, we do maybe need, like, oil factories. And eventually we're going to need, uh, start getting, like, rocket sites and nuclear reactors and stuff, but... Plus five, oh, it actually makes oil as well. How expensive is that? 8,700 points? Well, we'll put something like New Brunswick, because why not? It'll take a long, long time. 
Actually, you just push that straight to the top. How long is that going to take? November, it's going to take like almost... Well, it's actually only half a year. That's actually not too, too bad. Also, they're, uh, they're attacking us in Flanders. So that's not good. Just, just hold out. I, I, I believe in you guys. You're 43, about halfway done. Yeah, 217. It's because we're using our convoys to uh, ship weapons. Does that count? I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but yeah, maybe maybe that's what's going on. Why are you attacking? That doesn't. No, stop that. Sixty-four. Where's the river? Is this the river here? This like black line. How are we doing so badly? Thirteen. These got. They have a lot of men. Okay, that's fair. Stop attacking, because those make any goddamn sense. I mean, if we attack these guys, I believe they should get a modifier. I don't know which one's actually attacking. Oh, I guess not. Okay, well, never mind. Stop attacking, because it makes no sense. Oh, we can have to do a new national focus. Okay. Bilingualism underscore TT. No idea what that means, but sure, let's get that. I mean, as long as the French lose more troops here than we do, then it's fine. Also, they keep attacking like one infantry division. I don't understand what they're trying to accomplish. Field Hospital 2, fantastic. Oh, we've, we're not researching a lot of things. Uh, Weapons 2 is already being upgraded. Fantastic. We might as well get Marines too, because we we're going to need Marines probably more in the future. Uh, motorized. We can, we can attach rockets to them, but I think that's fine. I don't know if we really need the rockets on there right now. Well, it's 1939, production fish is a cat, plus, you know, 15% or whatever. Sounds like a good thing to me. So, yeah, let's take a look. The Flemish garrison, like, how well are you guys doing? 1,000 to 30. Like, th these numbers. How do they? Wow. In multiple combat, in multiple combat. I mean, we had some bad attacks. This, this attack went pretty well, actually. 6,000 to 1,000 and past the... Or, uh, in this province. The popularity is rising. Fantastic. I love being popular. Okay, why can't it progress? Well, actually, we don't even need... We don't even need... To do it. Why can't I do this? I'm not, I'm not too sure actually why I'm not allowed to progress. Oh, okay. Well, they automatically got cancelled anyway, so that's fine. India landed some troops here. So, I mean, that's good, but like... We can't help you. I wish we could. But we can't. Yeah, they're still trying to attack here. I mean, it's not going so well for them. It's going, as I would say, pretty, pretty bad. So we got about two weeks left until we can actually invade Wales. China over here just uh, joined Middle Europa. So they'll probably join the war against uh, the common turn. And it looks like they did. And then you guys just won against uh, whoever was down here. I don't remember who it was. In Mongolia, they're doing pretty all right for themselves. They're, they're, they're quite big. They're still at war with Tibet. But I imagine they're probably going to win that war. And the Ottoman Empire is actually doing pretty well against Arabia. Uh, Iran hasn't pushed through. They're pushing in the... They've almost taken Cairo, actually. So the Ottoman Empire might actually win that war. So that'd be interesting. And this battle over here ended. How did that one go for us? 
I mean, it looks like it went pretty all right for the most part. But I do think this is going to be a good time to end this video. So thanks for watching. My name has been Anthem. If you enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoying it, click thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.